everyone, welcome back. Today we're diving into the tricky world of cognitive biases, those sneaky mental shortcuts that shape the way we think, perceive the world, and make decisions. We all like to believe we're logical, rational creatures, but here's the truth. Our brains are full of hidden traps that lead us to choices we might not fully understand. In this episode, we're going to break down what cognitive biases are, why we have them, and how they affect every aspect of our lives. By the end of this, you'll start seeing how your mind plays tricks on you without you even knowing it. Ready to uncover the hidden forces behind your thinking? Let's get started. So, what exactly are cognitive biases? In simple terms, cognitive biases are systematic patterns of deviation from rationality in judgment. Essentially, they're the ways our brains take shortcuts when processing information. These shortcuts can be helpful for making quick decisions, but they also lead to mistakes, errors in thinking that skew our perception of reality. Think of it like this. Your brain is like a supercomputer, but instead of running a careful analysis for every decision, it sometimes uses pre-programmed shortcuts. These shortcuts are based on experience, emotions, and past knowledge, but they don't always lead to accurate conclusions. Now, these biases aren't all bad. After all, they evolved to help us make decisions quickly, especially when speed was crucial for survival. But in today's complex world, these mental shortcuts can sometimes steer us wrong. And why would our brains evolve to have these biases in the first place? Well, the answer lies in efficiency. Our brains are constantly bombarded with information. Every second, we're processing millions of bits of sensory data, memories, emotions, and more. To handle all of this, our minds have developed ways to simplify and streamline decision-making. Back in the day, when our ancestors faced split-second decisions about whether to run from a predator or where to find food, having a brain that could make rapid decisions was a huge advantage. Instead of weighing all the pros and cons, cognitive biases helped early humans make decisions fast, sometimes based on a gut feeling or instinct. In modern life, however, these shortcuts aren't always as useful. We don't face saber-toothed tigers anymore, but we do face complex financial decisions, political choices, and relationships that require deeper thinking. And that's where cognitive biases can lead us astray. Now that we know what cognitive biases are and why they exist, let's look at some of the most common ones. You'll probably recognize a few of these sneaky mental tricks. They show up in everyday life all the time. Let's start with confirmation bias, one of the most famous cognitive biases. This is the tendency to search for and favor information that confirms what we already believe, while ignoring or dismissing anything that contradicts those beliefs. For example, if you believe that eating a particular diet is the healthiest option, you'll naturally seek out articles and studies that back up your view. And if you see an article that criticizes your preferred diet, you'll likely dismiss it as nonsense or biased. That's confirmation bias at work. It reinforces what we already think and makes it harder to change our minds. Let's move on to the next one. Anchoring bias happens when we rely too heavily on the first piece of information we're given, the anchor, when making decisions. This initial anchor can set the tone for everything that follows, even if it's irrelevant. For example, if you're shopping for a TV and the first one you see is $2,000, that becomes your reference point. So, when you see another one priced at $1,500, you might think it's a great deal, simply because you're comparing it to the first one even if both are outside your budget. We continue with the availability heuristic, which is when we judge the likelihood of something happening based on how easily we can recall examples of it. In other words, the easier it is to remember, the more likely we think it is. For example, after hearing about a shark attack on the news, you might suddenly be afraid to go swimming in the ocean, even though shark attacks are incredibly rare. Because the news story is fresh in your mind, your brain assumes shark attacks are more common than they really are, this is how the availability heuristic distorts our perception of risk. Next up, loss aversion. Humans hate losing more than they love winning. That's the idea behind loss aversion. The pain of losing $100 feels much worse than the pleasure of gaining $100. This bias often leads us to make overly cautious decisions, even when the odds of gaining are in our favor. For instance, investors often hold on to losing stocks longer than they should, simply because selling them means acknowledging the loss. They'd rather avoid the psychological pain of loss than make the best financial decision. Last one we will cover today is the bandwagon effect, which is when we do something just because other people are doing it. 
It's the reason trends take off and why it feels easier to follow the crowd rather than stand out. This bias is super common in social situations, whether it's fashion, politics, or even social media challenges, we're all influenced by what others around us are doing. We assume that if everyone else is on board, they must be right. Cognitive biases aren't just abstract concepts. They influence our everyday decisions, often in ways we don't even notice. Let's explore how they shape some of the key areas of our lives. Cognitive biases can easily sneak into our relationships, impacting how we see and interact with others. Negativity bias, for example, is the tendency to focus more on negative events than positive ones. In a relationship, this might mean you're more likely to remember the one time your partner forgot an anniversary than the dozens of times they were supportive. Confirmation bias also plays a role here. Once you've formed an opinion about someone, you tend to look for behaviors that confirm that view. If you believe your partner is lazy, you'll notice every time they leave dishes in the sink, but you might overlook the times they cleaned the whole house. In the workplace, cognitive biases like anchoring and confirmation bias can lead to poor decision-making. For example, when negotiating a salary, the first number thrown out can set the anchor for the entire discussion. If you don't realize it's happening, you might accept a lower salary just because the initial number set the bar. Confirmation bias can also show up in hiring. Managers might favor candidates who match their preconceived idea of a good employee, even if they overlook someone with better qualifications. Financial decisions are particularly vulnerable to cognitive biases. Loss aversion can lead investors to make irrational choices, such as holding on to losing investments for too long or refusing to take risks that could lead to gains. And the bandwagon effect can explain why bubbles form in the stock market. People jump on trends simply because everyone else is doing it, without fully understanding the risks. So, are we all doomed to make biased decisions forever? Not quite. While cognitive biases are a natural part of how we think, there are ways to outsmart them. Here's how you can avoid falling into these mental traps. Engage your slower thinking. In our earlier episode on decision-making, we talked about the difference between System 1 and System 2 thinking. System 1 is fast and automatic, while System 2 is slower and more deliberate. To outsmart cognitive biases, try to engage your System 2 thinking more often. This means slowing down, analyzing the situation, and taking the time to make informed decisions. Seek out opposing views. One of the best ways to combat confirmation bias is to actively seek out information that challenges your beliefs. It might feel uncomfortable at first, but exposing yourself to different viewpoints helps you see the bigger picture and make more balanced decisions. Question your initial assumptions. Anchoring and availability heuristics often occur because we rely too much on initial impressions. To counter this, question your first assumptions and try to consider alternative explanations or outcomes. For example, if you're set on a decision, ask yourself, what would happen if I chose the opposite? Cognitive biases are a natural part of being human. They help us make quick decisions in a complex world, but they can also lead us astray. The good news is that once you're aware of these biases, you can start to recognize them in your own thinking and make smarter, more thoughtful choices. That's it for today's episode. Thanks for tuning in, and I hope you found this exploration into cognitive biases as eye-opening as I did. Until next time, remember, just because your brain is playing tricks on you doesn't mean you can't outsmart it. Take care and see you in the next episode. Thank you.